Hello scrappers. Today I thought I'd tear down this uh, dryer. I think I did a wash machine here a while back. But uh, not a whole lot in them. Got a, probably a motor with aluminum windings. Usually this plate here is either aluminum or some of them are molded plastic. I think this one's aluminum. So, yeah, we got some wire in here also, copper wire. First thing I do is usually pop these knobs off. Okay, so we got a couple quarter inch right here. Two quarter inch down here and three Phillips along the top. Of course, the different brands and different models are all different, so I got four washing machines out there I'm gonna do in the next couple days. Try to get them on the trailer load. Chances are they're all different. Get one piece of shred. Yeah, had a nice storm go through, so right now temperature is pretty pretty nice. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can't pry this off. I got some tabs down here. There we go. Yeah, you can stomp these flat or take a hammer to them. I like to try to flatten them out a little bit. They fit in the barrel a little better. I got some electric snippers. Sometimes I'll cut them into thirds. Got a quarter inch bolt down in there and over here. I'm not not sure if I can get to it with my power tools. Yeah, I can't really even get a good angle on it there, so I'm going to try to use a little gentle persuasion. Knock it forward a little bit. This one's actually pretty, pretty simple. And I cut this ground wire here. And some of these connectors are magnetic, so I always check them. And of course the scrap yards like all the ends cut off. And I save all these little brass ends. I know they're small, they don't amount to much weight. I just throw them in a bucket. Eventually I may melt them down. Maybe make some fishing weights out of them. Or make something decorative. You guys could sell them as dirty, dirty brass too. I don't think dirty brass pays very good, but if you get the brass out of your plugins and stuff too, it all adds up. That all depends on how much time you got on your hands. Kind of like stripping the copper wire if you don't have time. So it as is. If you 
got the time, go ahead and strip it. Of course, thin stuff, you know, that's up to you if we, yeah, you think it's worth your time to strip it. I know you can sit there for two hours stripping that stuff and maybe get a pound every two or three hours, but on some of that thinner wire, for a lot of people it's not worth the time. And I can understand where they're coming from. Okay, now here we've got two screws here, and they just happen, I think, to come through this back side here. But what are you doing, Oreo? Huh? You want to get on camera? Huh? He's not much help. These little timer motors, I definitely saved them. I guess I could move the camera in a little closer. I had to get back here to get a wide shot to... just to get the picture and stuff. But yeah, I usually save these little motors. I don't think they're too... I got a bucket full. I need to get, get in there and break them down one of these days. I'll take them in the house and do them. Maybe one of these days when it's too hot out here, take it in the house. And some of this stuff, I always look at some of this stuff's a little thicker, especially on dryers. Like, okay, like this red and this yellow one here is thicker and there's a lot more copper in it. So those I'll probably separate and strip them. Then what I like to do a lot of times is go ahead and clip that off. One of the thicker, thicker red wires. There's the yellow. Yeah, here's a nice thick black one. And uh, the rest of these all pretty much look look the same. So I'll throw them in my tote. You look comfortable. You know, peanut butter, he's still around. He's, look, he's starting to look better. He's been out chasing them girls, so he's been looking pretty poor. But he's looking pretty good now. He just doesn't get in the videos too much anymore. Not like he used to. Okay, this one here, I don't know. I usually tear these all the way down, but uh, <laughs> this one's pretty thorough. Which I'll have to just pull all these screws out. Got the power cord here yet. So I got some quarter inches right here. Quarter inch bit. I think these others are five sixteenths. Then of course I air chisel the corners. That way I can get it down flat. Now I sell the dryer drums separately. I just I know a lot of guys get ten bucks a piece out of them. I just let them go for five. I figure I'm still making a profit. Put that over here. Make a profit. Make a good deal for the for the gardeners and stuff out there. Getting late, kind of late in the day already. I was planning on getting out here much earlier. But we had a nice thunderstorm come through. That changed my plans. Plan is trying to get this video made and this dryer tore down, get it on the trailer because I got a couple holes. And then uh, get some other stuff thrown in them holes. I'm going to hold off on that other one for just a moment. Because what I want to do is try a 3 8. Yeah, I think that's going to work.
get this cord disconnected. Now a lot of times these nuts on here are brass. So I always try to watch those and toss them into my brass. And I don't think you guys can see a thing I'm doing right now either, can you? Working away, having a good time. Okay. Of course, I'm about to move it again. Better late than never, right? And then cut in front of the camera. I'm toss that one over the door for right now. Okay, I'm probably going to have to knock the top off of this and then uh, chisel my sides down and go from there. So we'll stand it back up and then see if we can get this top off. Knock it forward. I didn't see anything. Forward or back, one or the other sometimes. So if that doesn't work, sometimes you can get in there. I'd pry this while I was laying down. I'd probably see what what's going on. Okay, I think that's a release. Like we just got this tab right here. Yeah, now the sun's starting to come out and it's starting to get humid. It okay, looks like we might have a couple screws down the bottom here in the front. Yeah, a couple Phillips down here. So let's pull them out. A lot of these just basically I'm just kind of teaching the basics and a lot of this is figured out as you go. Wires holding it a little bit. Five sixteenths. scaring you, Oreo. Uh. Yeah, you're a good kitty, huh? You're a good kitty. Good for nothing, kitty. He's my buddy. He sticks around pretty good. Whereas next year will probably be totally different. I never, never see him. Just when he's hungry. It looks like I got screws down both sides at the bottom. Okay, 
Phillips. I think this bit's getting wore out. Been using it a long time. One other thing I like tearing these wires down is you never know how much change you're going to get out of them. I didn't hear anything rattling around in here, so may not get anything out of it, but sometimes you make good money on them. And then a lot of times where the money will collect is up in all this, all that lint. And since I moved that again, are we in view? Barely, huh? Barely in view. Maybe turn the monitor the other way. Maybe I, I can see it a little bit. Okay, got to cut the belt. I just use my side cutters. out of the way. Then I'll get the three plastic things out of there real quick. Looks like a 5 sixteenths again. Yeah, the way this heat's been, I'll come out here and work half an hour or so, then go in and cool off and come out for a half an hour and go in and cool off. Get a little bit. Trying to get this trailer done so that hopefully before Wednesday I can take the load in. Make some mad money and some nice money for, for camping out this weekend or next weekend. Okay, that's Pretty ready, pretty well ready to go. Into my pile of them for uh, raised beds, fire pits. May have to take one of those to the lake with me. If I got one I cut in half, I might take. Okay, we're getting down in there so now I'll probably just cut or pull the screws out of the two sides I'm gonna clean that off because once I get all the sides off I'll put the bottom up there that way ergonomically a little more friendly don't have to bend over I guess bending over is good for you, right? Okay, that side's done. That piece still being held out of one screw. screw. I've still got this piece. Got some more screws there. Get that. Three eighths again. Pull these other three brass nuts off of there. Three more brass nuts, and I got some little fittings I got to cut off. Yeah, not much breeze blowing right now. That's a nice fat black wire right there. Be good for stripping. Okay. 
cook off lion hair. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, it was nice. I forgot. It's still only 75 out here. 74 a little while ago. Temperature starting to rise. Humidity is definitely rising. And earlier it was like 94% humidity. Okay, I'm going to get Oreo out of the way and uh, get the air compressor turned on and then we'll chisel that down and uh, tear the bottom part half apart. Yeah, a lot of times on these where they got this reinforcement on the corner, especially if they're overlapped, folded over one another, I usually just cut that with the angle grinder and then I can chisel down. But this just looks like a piece of reinforcement. Feels like it might be a little thicker than what the side is, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just cut it with the air chisel. It's going to get loud, so turn your volume down if you're wearing earbuds. Here we go. Get that one through. Not too bad. Cut it a little. Cut it a little bit slow. Not too shabby. Now, you could probably just fold this over and stomp on it. And Showing the air chisel because the air chisel is a good tool for scrapping. Very handy. Many different things you can do with it. with a one gallon tank. Yeah. <coughs> Needless to say I spent a lot of time waiting for the pressure to build up. Okay. As you can see I got this bottom piece up up there and uh, I've already cut all the wires off off camera. I thought you guys may not want to spend all that time watching me pull the, pull the br brass clips and cutting the little brass you know, clips off of there. Now, uh, doesn't really look like there's anything holding that little fan on. We got a few quarter inch that's holding this outer piece on. So, buzz them off real quick if we can. Now we can get that fan blade out of the way.
that's having to hold it. Yeah, it is holding down. It's going for a while. Under all the lint. And that's a 5 sixteenths. side was broke out. The fan probably wasn't blowing so since the fan couldn't blow it couldn't pull the moisture out of there and pull, force the heat through. So nothing's over here holding. It should pull. Dipper should pull right on through. Uh, I'm not sure I need that anymore. Got my handy dandy flashlight. Yeah, there is a little keeper ring on there. Lock ring. Let's see if I can get a hold of it here. Slide around on the shaft real easy. big screw, flat screwdriver. Usually just hook it on that lip. Pops right off. That was playing being a little hard to get. Getting a good downward pressure. There we go. Get a good downward pressure on it. That should disconnect the motor. First, let me get a file. Nine times out of ten, these are going to be aluminum windings. I break them down anyway. Yeah, that's a, that's white. That's or silver. That's aluminum. Get a few pennies out of the deal. Now, see where this thing is. Figure out how this thing is mounted. This may just be. I got screws on the back side here holding this plastic on. And. Okay, we got two screws right here in the front. Dig through the lint. Look like five sixteenths. So yeah, I try to get it as flat as I can. That way, it'll fit on the. Uh, think doesn't take up as much room on the trailer. I'm not sure. Get the wheel off. Looks like only two, maybe three. So 
so much lint built up in here. Get one more screw down there somewhere. So there it is. Okay. Did it pop out? Nope, still in there. Okay, a couple pieces of trash and that's probably almost thick enough that could go into short iron. So that's about all there is to one of those. I want to thank everybody for watching and appreciate you stopping by. I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing and, and supporting the channel. And uh, if you want to support the channel, I do have a you can buy me a cup of coffee. I have a link down in the uh, description below the video. I do also have a, an Amazon affiliate page, and you can go down, uh, follow that link. It's in the description also. You can take a look at what uh, tools I have that I use on the that I and recommend on the Amazon from Amazon and grind, cutting disc, grinding disc, stuff like that. Uh, sawzall blades, and uh, if you purchase from there. I think within 24 hours of clicking on the link, something like that, then I get a little commission off of, you know, sales, uh, advertising revenue. So, it helps. Yeah. So, got quite a bit to do out here. Just trying to get get ahead on videos right now because I'm going to take a little vacation here the next weekend. So, we'll uh, catch you guys in the next video and happy scrapping.